All right, are you ready for the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse apocalypse, the uh, apoc eclipse that's coming up? It's it's coming, right? Another solar eclipse. They actually happen all the time, but this one's strange maybe, and I want to jump into that. Why why now? What's going on with this solar eclipse that's got everybody sort of confused a little bit or, or trying to figure out what's going on? So let's, let's talk about that. I got my apocalypse eclipse preps right here got a couple extra for friends in the area if they forget to buy them and happen to watch this video I have some spares but let's talk about what what is a solar eclipse in case you hadn't seen one before they actually happen all the time and why is this one maybe a little weird right what's going on here so I went to live science <coughs> right I wanted to get some information about what is a solar eclipse in case you didn't know why why is this one special and maybe what's what's going on that's got people a little freaked out so live science says the total solar eclipse on April 8th in North America comes six years, seven months, and 18 days after the last event across the continent in 2017. So it's been all of six years, seven months, 18 days since the last solar eclipse. And I don't remember quite as much controversy last time. So that's what makes this interesting, the solar epoch eclipse is coming all these <clears throat> although these eclipses narrow paths of totality are very different both are past Across parts of Missouri, Illinois, and Kentucky, and I think I was in Illinois the last time this uh, solar eclipse happened. I remember everybody looking up without glasses on. I hope their vision wasn't damaged. Probably a bunch of blind people running around. So how often do total solar eclipses occur? Turns out while these two events are close together, it's rare to experience totality in the same place twice in such a short time. So it is uncommon eclipse in that sense. Right, according to a paper published in 1982 by Belgian astronomer Jean Muse, uh, sorry, a total solar eclipse occurs in the same place on the planet once every 375 years on average. NASA's Emily Wright recently refined that figure to 366 years after mapping the 11,898 paths of every total solar eclipse around a 5,000 year period from 2000 BC to 3000 AD. Not sure how they did that. So normally it's like once every 366 years you get repeat eclipses, meaning the way the sun's rotating and the moon's rotating and the earth's rotating really only lines up about once every 366 years. We're getting a repeat in six years. So in that, I mean, does that mean the apocalypse is coming? I don't know. It's just an odd alignment, right? But we had one 2017. I don't remember anything spectacular happening. And that's that's what makes you wonder, like, what's going on here? Why, why should I care? I got my glasses. Do I need my bug out bag too? Or is the glasses good, right? And maybe, maybe you do. We're going to dig into that, right? However, Total solar eclipses are not rare on a planet-wide scale, right? We said that. Solar eclipse of some kind occurs on Earth between two and five times each year. Though most years have two eclipses, according to time and date, on average, a total solar eclipse happens every 18 months. So we've all been through them. If you're more than 18 months old, right, and you're watching this channel, and hopefully you are more than 18 months old and watching this channel, you've been through these before. So once again, what's, what's going on, right? Why? Why this one? Why is everyone kind of scratching their heads? Um, so, for example, the last total solar eclipse was on April 20th, 2023, and the next is April 8th, 2024. Like clockwork, the gap is the same as a lunar year, 12 orbits of Earth by the moon, a lunation, and it's the shortest time between two solar total solar eclipses with one exception right okay so maybe this explains it there's an exception to the solar eclipse lunation schedule according to eclipse wise the time interval between two successive solar eclipses can be either one five or six lunations but they're usually different types of events so this is a little weird because it's a repeat we're getting a repeat eclipse right the apocalypse didn't happen in 2017 so we're spinning back around right we back the planet up and we're rolling back we're going back in for another eclipse um, that's probably good enough on that one so <clears throat> 
uncommon, uncommon to have a repeat eclipse, but I don't think that's what's freaking people out, right? Repeat eclipse. I don't know if anyone's even digging that deep, and I wouldn't blame you if you don't. The eclipse is going to happen whether you whether you study it or not, but we'll keep going, right? Because there's some weird stuff. There's some weird stuff going on here. So before I get into the weird stuff, I did a check. If you go on Pew Research, in 1960, 80% of the population of the United States states trusted the government, right? If you look now, it's 20%. 20% actually trust the government. So about 80% of the population of the United States doesn't really trust the government. So I feel like that maybe feeds into the cycle here a little bit. If nobody trusts the government and the government saying anything like, yeah, something's not right, right? Something's going on. That's a lot. Only, only 20%. It's a flip. Right, between 1960 and now we've flipped trust versus not trust on the government. So if you go to IFL Science, um, or a lot of places, honestly, I've seen this in a lot of places, and I think this is what's freaking people out here. The article says, stock up on food, water, and fuel ahead of the total eclipse. Emergency officials warn cell phone service could be a problem too. Once again, we just had one of these, 2017. I don't remember any warnings to stock up, and I don't remember any issues. So, makes you wonder, right? So, here we go. Like, does the government know something, and 80% of the people wouldn't trust them to tell us anyway? So, Lorain County Emergency Management, EMA, in Ohio, have issued a warning to eclipse watchers and locals to the, pla to the path of totality to stock up on food, water, and fuel ahead of the total eclipse on April 8th with an influx of visitors to the area expected. So you could sort of play it off and say they're telling you to get heavy prepped, stock up on everything because there's gonna it's just going to be crowded. It's going to be really crowded. You're not going to be able to get to the grocery store. Gas stations are run out because everybody is running to watch the eclipse. Maybe. Maybe, right? Maybe. Seems like a decent um, simple explanation. Uh, once again, 80% don't trust the government, but I'm going to keep going. I, I have some theories here right so it sounds like a cool eclipse though I'm gonna read this but if we're lucky and the weather is fine we should be in for something special as the eclipse coincides with the solar maximum so this is a really cool sounding so in 2017 the Sun was nearing solar minimum viewers of the total eclipse could see the breathtaking corona but since the Sun was quiet streamers flowing into the solar atmosphere restricted to just the equatorial regions of the star the sun is more magnetically symmetrical during solar minimum causing the simpler appearance so that was the last solar eclipse this solar eclipse is going to be a little special during the 2024 eclipse and we're getting to it here the sun will be in our in or near solar maximum when the magnetic field is more like a tangled hairball streamers will likely be visible throughout the corona in addition to that viewers will have a better chance to see prominences which appear as bright pink pink curls or loops coming off the sun so it should be really beautiful is what it sounds like they're saying here's the here's the catcher right here's the hook with lucky timing lucky there could be could even be a chance to see a coronal mass ejection a large eruption of solar material during the eclipse so that jumped out at me now it's entirely possible and nothing against that website the chat gpt is probably writing half the stuff and they're just tacking stuff on that ai thinks is relevant right that is possible or it's possible that they're predicting a cme a cme event chrome mass ejection right you might see a cme um, we've talked about CMEs. What is a coronal mass ejection? I did videos on solar flares and cyber war, how they tie back to disruptions. Now, not every CME is a big deal. Not every CME is a major event. They actually happen all the time, but every once in a while, a big CME comes in and causes problems. There was the Carrington event. Uh, there's been a couple others since then. So if they're expecting a CME or they think it's possible they're there could be a CME in around as part of the solar eclipse 
that could be a big deal. That could be your solar eclipse that we're all wondering is about to happen. It might explain the warnings to stock up in food and water and gasoline and let you know maybe your cell phone's not going to work because that, none of that happened in the last eclipse. But if they think it's possible a coronal mass ejection might hit, yes. Right, absolutely. Stock up, stock up on everything, guys, right? Get all your preps, you got a little bit of time. So let's talk about what is a CME. A CME is a cloud of energetic and highly magnetized plasma erupts from the solar corona in space, causing radio and magnetic disturbances on Earth. Right, so a CME, there's good news here, travels at a more leisurely pace, relatively speaking, at their highest speeds of almost 1,900 miles per second. CMEs can reach Earth in about 15 to 18 hours, while slower traveling CMEs can take several days. So if there is a giant CME as part of the solar eclipse, there's theoretically warning. It could take hours, could take days to get here. Once again, if more than 20% of people trusted the government, we'd expect some kind of warning for that, but trust is pretty low right now. So if you look at the Carrington event, Carrington event, you look at the possibility of a CME hit on this earth, not a regular one, because said they're, they're common, solar eclipses are common, CMEs are common. There's the possibility for a large CME to have massive disruptive effects, similar to an EMP, right? So it is possible, um, going through some conspiracy theory idea here, if they're actually saying, hey, we think we're going to get hit by a big CME as part of the solar eclipse, so you should probably be stocking up on food, water, and fuel, because if it hits, if it causes an EMP-like effect, that could be a major disruption that could last a very long time, right? And I'm throwing a lot of coulds out there because there's levels, right? You could have just like a tornado. I could say a tornado might hit. Well, if it's a one, no big deal. If it's a five, the neighborhood's gone. And my neighborhood actually got hit by a tornado before I moved here, wiped the whole thing out. CMEs are sort of the same way, right? If it's a one, yeah, no big deal. You're going to look at it and be like, wow, what's all that stuff? If it's a 5 or if it's a 10, however scale you want to rate them, I don't think that's how they rate them. Um, expect everything to get fried and shut down and massive cloud of plasma hits the earth like a hurricane from outer space. And we're going to have that EMP electromagnetic pulse uh, chrome mass ejection effect where electronics could be damaged and enough electronics get damaged could lead to things like they're already saying hey by the way your cell phone might not work um, massive power outages the list goes on and in that case you do you probably do want to prepare if you're not already prepared and hopefully you are and I know some people aren't and I know people that aren't um, there is a possibility here, right? It's a lot of maybes and could bes and, and might bes and speculation. But, you know, if you're not already a prepper, if you're not already prepared for an emergency, you know, I would say two years worth of food is probably a good idea. But let's say a couple weeks, right? We'll, we'll lower the bar here and say, you know, if you got a week, two weeks, some kind of food, some kind of water, extra gasoline for your car stuff like that exact stuff they're saying probably not probably not a bad idea so that's my solar eclipse apocalypse apoc eclipse just wanted to get that out there once again most eclipses had a lot of them nothing happened cmes happen all the time it's rare it's rare that something could happen however it would explain a lot if uh, if the scientists are, are speculating there could be a big CME coming as part of at the same time as this solar eclipse. So we'll see. We'll see. But I, I want to throw that out there. So as always, thanks for watching and we appreciate you.